Hello, good afternoon. My name is Simon Freelove and I'm part of the Abundant Life Church in Newport in Gwent. I'm a Valleys boy and was born in Tredega and raised in Ebervale and uh, I used to live directly opposite the Southgate entrance of Ebervale Steelworks in a small street called Glan Ebber Terrace. I was brought up in a Christian home and my uh, childhood years and my teenage years were very happy years. However, during those years, uh, my uh, my life was blighted by same-sex attraction. This occurred because during my early years, about the age of eight, my sexuality was inappropriately woken up along with some other guys in the street. This was done by an older guy and... Uh, this carried on for a period of time and then it it carried on with me and uh, just me and this other guy well into my teenage years. This eventually led me to pursuing a homosexual lifestyle, although I had dated girls in my teenage, uh, in my teenage years. However, this led me to pursue uh, homosexuality and uh, I hit the gay scene very hard in, uh, in Swansea, in, in Cardiff. And in fact, Cardiff was the first place where, where I, I, I went to a gay club and in London. During this time, I would uh, hook up with guys uh, in, in the clubs. I would go to gay saunas. And eventually, when I, knew, uh, when, when I moved to, to Newport, I had a few relationships and I would meet guys on Gaydar. I, to a certain degree, I loved my sin. I loved the identity that it brought. And I thought it was quite fashionable to a certain degree as well and I enjoyed it however there was a, lo a lot of depression that came of, with this I had a lot of anger I was very argumentative I I suffered with rejection many guys uh, rejected me and I would obsess over o o over them in fact homosexuality is very cannibalistic and it's it, it, it's like fire and death it never has enough it's it's all consuming this led to a lot of heaviness. Uh, the only way I can describe it is like heat haze in the summer. Uh, uh, I go out on uh, sunny days and I just have this heaviness that would come upon me, this heavy depression. And, you know, during this time uh, as well, I used to uh, struggle in the night with uh, what you call sleep paralysis or night terrors where something is holding you down and you couldn't speak. And I suffered with that almost uh, weekly, e e even uh, later on, just monthly. But it was a frequent occurrence and all uh, kinds of uh, stuff like that. There, there was a lot of anger, a, a, a lot of heaviness uh, that, that was in my heart. And by the time I left the gay scene, I was... I, I I just felt like a dead man. I just felt like a corpse. I, I wasn't satisfied with my lot in life. I was very disillusioned by the whole thing because many guys just didn't want relationships. They just wanted to be promiscuous. However, in 2012, I had an encounter with Christ. One night while I was asleep, I saw him in a dream. I saw, I saw him quite clearly. He was like in disguise and he had like a soberly peace across his face. And during this, uh, this period, when I saw him, we discussed my life. It was, it was like a, an interview. He wasn't looking at me directly. His, his face was turned away. But I saw no sternness in his face. I, 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 saw, I saw compassion in his face. But also I saw soberly peace, that we wasn't just on first-term buddies. And the, the experience quite cut me to the heart. It, it wasn't a pleasant experience either. About a month later, in a midweek meeting... I went to uh, Maldwin Holland's uh, church that night and he was given a, st a Bible study. And that night I, I read Corinthians in the meeting about the sexually immoral man. And when I read it, I just started to weep. And then Maldwin Holland turned his head to me and he said, Simon, let it out. And like there was about 20 people there and I just started weeping and weeping and it got louder and louder. And then he went, I went out to him and he prayed for me and he led me in a prayer of repentance and I renounced my homosexuality. After that, I've never looked back. I've never turned, I've never been with a guy ever since. In the eight years that I've been walking with the Lord, I have not uh, hooked up with, with, with a guy. I have forsaken that lifestyle. I have no desire uh, for the gay scene 
at all. However, my journey has not been difficult. There's been times when I struggled with the same sex attraction and stuff like that. Like that. But, you know, God has, be, uh, has been very gracious, you know. During my time in the gay scene, I just felt my, my heart getting heavier and heavier. But since I've been following Jesus and, and meditating on, on the scriptures, you know, I have felt my heart at more at peace and I felt my, my spirit getting lighter and lighter. Do you know something... You know, it's it, the Christian life is not an easy life, but it's a life of peace. It's a life of joy. It's a life of love. God has done so much for me. He has touched my heart. He has healed me. And, you know, God is love. And, you know, all I ever wanted was love. All I ever wanted was a friend. And, you know, since I've turned to Christ, I have a friend. I have a friend who truly loves me, who, he, who knows the best about me. And he also knows the worst about me. You know, I will never regret turning to Christ. He has done so much for me and I love him to bits.